Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski with a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look, the, look at the euro versus U.S. dollar and the sterling versus U.S. dollar, both on an hourly basis. Both of them are testing uh, or have tested key moving average support and bounce. So let's uh, take a look at them and see what we can uh, glean from the price action today. Looking at the hourly chart of the euro versus U.S. dollar, we've traded above and below the 100 hour moving average. That's the blue line in this uh, chart currently coming at 1.0921. Uh, and the low price that we just saw uh, over the last uh, few hours did stall the fall right at the 100 hour moving average. Prior prior to that, in this day, we have seen dips below that 100 bar moving average, but the momentum has been limited to the downside. Also near the level is a 38.2% retracement. That's how the move up from the August high to the August low right here. So being able to hold both those levels is positive for this pair. We need to get above this uh, swing area up here between 109.42 and 109.48 level defi uh, is defined by other different uh, swing highs and lows going back uh, to this uh, period through here and here. So get above that level opens the door and then we'll look toward the 109.63 level up here. Uh, if we move back below the 100 hour moving average and 38.2% retracement, all bets are off uh, to the upside. Let's take a look at the sterling versus US dollar next. And what we can see off this uh, chart is that its last dip to the downside did hold above its 200 hour moving average. That's a green line in the chart. We've stayed most of the day above that 200 hour moving edge. Yes, we did have a dip below it here and we started the day below it right through here. But uh, for the most part, we've been staying above that level and holding that 200 hour moving average on the move back to the downside here is a, well, keeps the buyers at least still in play. What we have seen is that we have seen higher highs off of this hourly chart, uh, but the, uh, and the high price uh, here today, which extended above the swing area, could not sustain momentum up toward uh, these two moving averages up here, which represent the 100 and 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. Ultimately, if we're going to go higher, we need to get above uh, the high of the swing area. We need to get above high here. And then we'll look toward the 100 and 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. Get above that level and opens the door for further upside momentum for this pair. Move back below the 200 hour moving average and uh, all bets are off. We're going to look toward the 100 hour moving average as the next key target in trading uh, on Friday. The price did bounce off of that 100 hour moving average. So there you have it. A, a new look at the an updated look at the euro versus US dollar and sterling versus US dollar. Both held key moving average support. We'll see if that momentum can continue to the upside in both those pairs. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.